I've put the first bracket in, there it is there, uh, and that's made the whole thing already quite nice and stiff. So now I've just temporarily put the second bracket in and I've measured the whole position requirement and what I'll do now is I'll drill it with the pilot hole and then open it up. And now I'll go through the 8mm drill. I've just temporarily put the bracket in place and I'll just mark through from my hole centre and go and drill that by holding the bracket in the vise. There's the bracket in position. I've now got the brackets bolted with washers to the front and the rear plates of the washing machine and it is now very very much stiffer because in effect we've made the drum part of the structure so it's really stiffened the whole thing up. What I want to do now is measure the offset I need for the chain wheel which is my driving wheel to be outside the perimeter of the machine. So I'll just do that by putting a straight edge against the front and rear faces bearing in mind that the panel's got to go on this so I know I've got to be slightly more than that but at the moment my clearance is I'm going to need a well that's saying 19 millimeter or round about three quarters of an inch well I want to come out I would think at least double that uh, to give me a nice working clearance so yeah I've got a dimension now so I'll just see what I've got to make up a packing piece to throw that chain wheel out. I've got a piece of wood which is pallet wood it's 25 millimeter one inch thick and it was quite wide so I've cut a square um, and I actually think just that thickness alone will be enough it'll be a bit close to the side wall but I believe it'll be okay so I'm going to mount the chain wheel to it and see what it looks like when it's actually on the machine just mark the centre position of the piece of wood and in the centre I want to drill the mounting hole to fix the flywheel. Now the little washer can stay in the flywheel between the wood and the flywheel face so I need a clearance hole for the bolt. Well, actually matter of fact I don't. I need a clearance hole for the bolt socket. So that is the diameter I'm going to drill or near enough so that I can access the mounting bolt so I'm going to drill it out with a 16 millimeter wood bit One thing I've just noticed that when I place the wood onto the flywheel it's rocking a bit and no matter what I do it will rock so I had a look at it and I think it's because of this very crudely cast part here which is proud of the surface so I'm going to file that off before I do anything else and then see if the plate will sit flatter. I think it will. Yeah I've just filed it flat and in effect now got no rocking of the the wood so it's going to be nice and flat when I screw it on. What I've got to do now is drill screw mounting holes in the flywheel so I can put the screws through from the rear to screw the wooden block on. I just realised that I don't need to have a square piece of wood so I've just lopped the corners off the piece I'm going to use <clears throat> primarily because that's going to have to be the size of the hole I'm going to cut in the steel side um, and I think the smaller the better. I'm just going to drill the first three mounting holes into the flywheel but I think I'm then going to turn over and drill three more closer in. Um, there is a, a torsion or there will be a torsion on this when it's working and I'm, as I'm using wood screws going into this I'd like it to be 
pretty stiff. It's a nice soft alloy this. As I've got a reinforcing point there I'm just going to go through the centre of it. six mountain holes cut in the flywheel. Now the other thing to do, I don't need the flywheel so I can trim off these arms and that will bring everything within to the proportions of the mounting block. Because this is now superfluous, we're not going to use a, a belt anymore so I'm going to just trim these off with a hacksaw. I've just temporarily clamped the block of wood in place using these clips um, so that I can turn it upside down and just put the first couple of screws in just make sure it's still central now it's moved a little bit It is quite fiddly to get this right because it's shifted two or three times. It's not going to now. So there we have it. All ready to have the arms trimmed off and then uh, we can mount the chain wheel. Okay, I'll just use a junior hacksaw because it's easy to access. Yeah, I'll just file those edges off. We've got it. There it is mounted, ready for sticking on the machine. On a frisbee. <clears throat> what I need to do now is measure the position of the centre hole from, let's say, the four edges, but three would be enough so that I can transfer that dimension, those proportions, onto the side panel. Then I can scribe the hole and then I can cut it. So the plate fits on the inside edge of that front panel. And it's at 26 and a half centimeters. It goes to the outside of this one. So similarly, it's 29 and a half. And it butts up to this top edge. So I can get that. I'll transfer those dimensions onto the pack plate and mark the center. So from the top edge. Just measure it again. 32. From the front edge. And the third dimension should confirm that it's right, measuring from the rear, 29 and a half. Well, it's a millimetre out, which I'm not going to grumble at. 
that's pretty good. So that's my centre. So now I'm going to have to draw my cutting circle sufficient to allow this lovely geometrical shape to pass through. Now I've got it marked and I've just checked, confirmed that the dimension from the base to the position is correct. I'm just going to mark a little centre point and then my old college instruments out and I'm just going to draw my cutting line which if my measurements have all been correct will give me a clearance hole for my curiously shaped piece of wood. So I'll drill a couple of starter holes here and then get my little saw out. I've drilled, drilled two clearance holes hopefully for the blade and I've just put the whole plate at the side of the machine onto a pallet so my saw blade won't foul the table. come to the acid test. Does my little block fit in the hole I cut? Lovely stuff. Got a nice clearance there between the face of the sheet metal side and the wooden face of the block. So when I put the sprocket on will be nicely clear. So I made my first and I hope my only mistake on doing this build and that is I'd cut the flywheel away from the centre before I'd marked the position for the sprocket to sit on. So this chain wheel has to be central to the pivot hole, the central hole here otherwise we'll start to get a little bit of a wobble. So I'm going to get it as accurately as I possibly can. I've, I've put everything back together again, so my joints are lined up. What I can do now is just measure certain key points on there and check the key dimensions and make sure that I am concentric. I think I've got an easier method. What I've done is just put the block into the mounting hole and then drawn three concentric circles just by spinning the, the whole shaft and then just holding a pencil. So I should be able to line the outer edge of the chain wheel to one of these three concentric circles. And that should give it a pretty accurate concentricity. We'll see. So now it's running. I'm pretty happy with that for the concentricity and it's securely mounted so I'll put the other side of the machine on and then we're ready to start on the bicycle.